It's always a good morning when you hear the birds. Right. Big looks nice in the sunrise. Isn't it? Isn't she a beaut? I just love the sights and sounds of the golf course highway path. Getting ready to go fishing. Welcome back to another edition of LFG Fishing TV. Lately, it's been behind the scenes. And we're gonna be behind the scenes today. Sam, are you coming? Are you coming in my boat today? I think I am. Are you? Okay. Always like fishing with Sam. He always puts me in a in a good mood. He's a he's a mood setter in a good way. We're waiting on some of the other boys to get back. Uh, they're going to get breakfast or something like that. It's kind of mid morning right now. We're just getting our first couple cups of coffee, and we're going to be doing a big challenge. Quite the challenge. I've I've been thinking about it all morning. It's going to be a really tough one. It's going to be truly a good challenge video. So stick around. The action could get good. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get a few things prepared because I know every time it's Guggen Squad filming week, things get freaking crazy. You know how we do it. It's always crazy when we get together. That's why you guys enjoy watching. So I am getting out some of my rods right now. I'm going to fish. I'm thinking we're going to go to a lake that I haven't been to in a while. Uh, I honestly have not been fishing bass fishing in, in Texas very much lately, so I'm kind of out of the loop. We gotta dig deep into our into our tricks here. Um, by the way, guys, if you want to pick up one of the Guggen Squad bags, this is the time. We're doing a spring blowout sale. I'll leave a link in the description, but uh, these are going for, I believe it's, it's like 68 bucks free shipping. That's like $40 off. We are selling the tackle trays. These are watertight tackle trays. These are normally like 30 bucks. If you're getting like the, the Plano, you know, this is a 3700 style. The dividers are already cut for you. And you can see the green seal on the inside to keep the water out of your lures and stuff. These are already cut, so you don't have to mess around with that. So they fit inside this tackle bag. They'll fit inside your boat, whatever you want. For 10 bucks, it's a really good deal. So. Got a few extras of those. Uh, go into the description and check that out if you want to pick up some gear or some tackle. I'm feeling, feeling a spinnerbait. Always feeling a spinnerbait, you guys know that. Spinnerbait and a jig, that's kind of like the meat and potatoes of my life in bass fishing. This is gonna be filmed on the Google Squad channel so you guys can check out like the more action-packed stuff. What I'm doing here with you guys today is kind of give you more of like a detailed look behind the scenes and then the actual strategy of, of what I'm doing on this lake that I haven't been to in a long time. I feel like that's always good information if it's a new lake or a lake I've never been to because I'm really having to think. I'm in competition mode today, so I often don't do a good job filming, but you guys stay on me. Give me some positive comments. Give me a thumbs up, okay? I've got a half ounce chatterbait. I'm going to try out this uh, ridiculously expensive chatterbait and see what's going on with it. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but this is like a, a hybrid uh, JDM, that's Jap Japanese tackle, uh, it's called the Jackhammer. It's a Z-Man bait, but it's got like extra elements to it that make it more unique, I guess. I'm, I'm hoping it shakes really good. I've, I've tried one out one day and I really didn't get a good, I really couldn't tell anything, quite honestly. There's some times where there's little things that shake on a, on a bait that make it really good, but that is it right there. Is that gonna focus? There it goes. Took a few minutes to get the tackle tied on. Let me show you guys what I got. <clears throat> I got a square bill tied on. I've got a, uh, a little hefty finesse jig. It's actually a half ouncer. I like to fish those on, on windy days on uh, rocky lakes. And then over here, I've got just straight up shad stuff. Shad spawn should be going on a little bit. We got a new moon approaching. So I've got a uh, half ounce spinner bait. Little clear water color, got a chartreuse color, chatterbait, and then uh, got a like kind of parrot color lipless crankbait. So that's what I'm planning on starting out with today. Just ripping, running, and see if we get anything going on that. That's what I'm hoping. If not, we're gonna have to slow down. But it's gonna be a tough challenge because we have to fish multiple bodies of water, so we need to be ready for anything. Never done that before, so it's gonna be fun. Oh wow, there's more people here than I thought. What's this? Oh. Yeah, we're coming in hot. You just, you just screw the big camera, you're back to doing a little camera. I like to switch it up. Beautiful. 
Rob said you wanted all the eggs they have, eggs and breasts, so there you go. Pretty much. Eggs and breasts, you can't go wrong. Okay. Oh, oh God! I caught it shaving really bad. You got, we can't stand the wriggle. Can't stand the wriggle. It's just oh, gotta get down there a little bit. Where'd it go? It's oh, under it's under the rock. rock. He's, gonna, He's gonna, gonna eat it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Nabbed it. Boop. He's fun. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, it's all time. Off. I don't know. You, you or right John? John? Okay, we are into the competition now. And uh, I'm, smart, I'm starting out with a small chatterbait. I've got the scale. Eric is over there. Hopefully he's gonna get one. He's throwing a weightless bait. I'm gonna throw this chatterbait and we're gonna split up, see if we can get one. We gotta catch one out of a pond at least. It's a 10 hour challenge. We, and then we gotta go to a lake. That's where the real action is gonna happen. But at least one of our fish has to come out of a pond. We gotta get that done, okay? Let's do it. First little spot. We got it done pretty quick. Uh, me and AP here, we just, um, we just boxed one. We didn't actually box one, we weighed it, let it go. <laughs> now we're on to a real fishery. What do you think? I'm thinking- well, Should we I'm, fully I'm, send it out there? Or? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Are we, is that it? With this wind, because I know I've never been on this lake, is, is it probably a better choice than Louisville? For a big fish. For big fish, yeah. Now, I know Louisville better, where I could say like, all right, let's go we can run around more because I know more spots, but out here I just I know the fish are bigger. And that's what we're going after. I mean we have a one, two, seven. Yeah, we need to catch four big fish. We now. need four mondos. So okay. let's just do it. Okay. Alright. Let's get greasy. Let's get greasy. What does that mean really? <laughs> You'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we made it out to the lake now. We're on Ray Hubbard. I hadn't fished out here on the main lake in a long time. So I'm not sure what's to come of it. We got a north wind. It is rocking. I know there's some good fish in here. I fished a tournament one time and uh, I had like a 22 pound bag out of one little area sight fishing in April. And we are in April. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully we get some. All right guys, a little update for you crazy situation right now. I dropped Peric off on the bank in an area that I've caught some big spawning fish in the past. You can no longer access it by boat. So I literally dropped him off on the bank. He's had three fish so far. He's broken off one that's probably like seven pounds. He's seen an eight pounder. We just boxed probably about a three and a half. It's going very, very well. I'm just sitting here, just kind of hovering, being the mothership. And he's literally over here. Me and Subs are just watching him. He's so happy right now. He's so happy. He's, He's like, I just, I just want to catch a four pounder. <laughs> he's, just, he's literally getting bit like every cast. So he's gonna, he's gonna box him up for us. We only need a couple more fish, but we can also call and it's going pretty well. So, hey, I'm liking what's going on here. I think 30 more minutes, we're gonna have two more fish in the boat. Then it's time to upgrade to some Mondos. It's going well. You guys gotta stay tuned for this episode. It's gonna be a pretty awesome one. Got him. He's got him. Yes. Get him in. Has he got you hung? There we go. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, we're just we're just doing it, son. Yeah. Just chilling here with Sobes. Peric in the boat now. After he freaking crushed. We did some crushing today. He was uh, he was on point. You guys are gonna love the video. Right next to a highway, and that guy's doing tricks. Yeah. Probably about to die. Um, <laughs> but we just let our fish go. We ended up with some good weight. We're waiting on traffic to die down. We've already hit our pond today. We we've, we've hit the lake. We've we've caught good bass. Parrots caught good bass. I'm so proud of this guy. And, Without uh, your help, though, it was all. It was all Mr. Ackley spot, and it was, uh... It was pretty good, eh? It, it worked out, let's just say that. Good news is, my hands smell amazing right now. I love the smell of fish coming out of the live well. It's so good. Alrighty, we're gonna put the poles up, we're gonna go to another area, and hopefully we'll get her done. It got greasy. It got greasy, boys! 
Is that what that meant? It got greasy. That's exactly <laughs> what it meant. Okay, we are back. Feeling frosty about our performance today. Perrick freaking crushed it was, it. It was a fun day. Mm. Can't complain. Gotta love it, gotta love it. I wanna show you guys a little bit what we were throwing today. What ended up working. Now a couple of things, I can't show you the specifics because it's some secret stuff we're working on. But square bill did well today. Square bill caught some fish, picked up the lipless a little bit, didn't catch any on that. Uh, the finesse jig was the winning bait today. I love fishing finesse jigs, especially these little bit heavier ones. That's actually a half ounce right there. On these man-made lakes that have a lot of rock, you know, bridges, uh, pilings, a lot of docks, things like that. It's hard to go wrong with any kind of hard bottom lake. You know, grass lakes, I like to fish a lot more swim baits and, and things like that. Uh, worms, finesse jigs tend to work really well on those types of lakes. That crushed it today. So really just the square bill and the finesse jig and we were fishing it around those rocks. Fishing it in probably uh, anywhere from two feet down to eight feet of water, uh, all the structure. Um, so around the docks, around the, uh, the rocky areas. Um, and it was a windy day, so having that half ounce really helped out a lot. And by the way guys, fishing the uh, finesse jig today, on the LFG series, really good for light jigs. I know I said that in the review video, but basically like half ounce and down, it is good to go. But we were about to go inside and do the weigh in wrap up and all that jazz. Uh, John B and Lunkers are still out. They're doing the, the pond portion of their video right now. They, I think they did opposite of us. They did lake first, then pond this afternoon. We're actually in an hour early and feeling pretty frosty about our performance. I know they said on the phone today they had some big bass on. I don't know if they actually landed them, but you guys need to stay tuned and see who was the champion today. I'm proud of my boy Perrick though. He did well. He did very well. We've had some good, had some good challenges lately. We've done all right. Oh man, this is so weird. This is like the smoothest riding boat ever, dude. There's no There's waves. No, no waves. Glass home out here. This is perfect. That audio is probably really it's, nice. It's probably so crisp right now. Should we put our life jackets on or are we good? Uh, I think we're good. We're, we're staying under 25 tonight, so we'll be good. There's a moon or a star. That's the moon. That's the moon. It's almost a new moon. Just riding down the streets in a skater boat, giving her a little tow in the lumber truck. All right, y'all, I promise we're not driving down any major highways. This is literally just down the road. John B got so hungry he had to leave us and uh, we had to get a ride from Rob because he's such a nice guy. Uh, he's going to be linked down below and you guys stay tuned for the awesome Guggen video that's coming up. This is one of the best ones I think, the best challenge videos that we've done. It's going to be very interesting hearing from the other guys as well. So thanks for watching today. Thanks for tuning in. You know what to do. Subscribe right here for more action and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there's our, there's our ride. That's the best ride to a restaurant I've ever had. It felt so natural. <laughs>